What's up guys? So it's Friday and Friday means one thing for me is glutes day. So I'm going to take you guys through one of my staple glute workouts if I'm not going to do squats. Now I know some of you aren't too fond of squats, I just done a whole video on them. So yeah, if you are squat shy, then this workout is definitely for you. So we're going to start off with glute activation. If you've seen any of my glute workouts before, you'll know I always, always do this. It's basically waking up your glutes, letting them know you're about to use them because a lot of time our glutes are actually inactive when we're doing exercises. So this is super, super important guys and it's a real game changer. So, I have my uh, trusty band and let's get started. starting with hip thrusts. Hip thrusts is like the mother of glute exercises. So um, I have also got a pad here. 100, 100% recommend guys, just to stop you from hurting yourself here when the weight does get heavy. So I've just warmed up. Usually I'll warm up with the bar with all exercises, but because of the position of this, I have put just five kilograms on each side guys. I just perform like 15 reps just to you know, get the joints lubricated and all that good stuff. So I know a lot of people uh, shy away from hip thrusts, either because number one, they don't know how to perform them, number two, getting into the position is actually super awkward, or number three, you have lower back or hip pain. So I'm kind of gonna go through a real simple way, guys, of how it should be performed, how to prevent any injury as well. Okay, so you wanna be seated on the floor and roll into a comfortable position, just right here. Your shoulder blades, you want them to be on the bench as well. And you really want to keep your spine neutral and your chin tucked in like so. Now you want to embrace your core. And then you also want to drive through your heels or your feet. So lower. And then once you reach the top, that's when you really want to squeeze your glutes. There we are. don't want to do it with a barbell guys you can also use a dumbbell so you would place the dumbbell here or a plate and the plate would rest just here on your thighs so try that first of all just to get a feel for the movement and then once you're comfortable enough get the barbell okay guys so next up we are going to do donkey kicks on the cable machine now I know a lot of these workouts people actually do cable kickbacks but for me I just find this so much more comfortable and I feel like my glutes are engaged more as well can't really explain it um, so I am using the cable, but you can actually use a Smith machine to perform the donkey kicks on as well. Works the same way, both great. So what you want to do is you want to have a straight spine and you want to make sure your cores are engaged as well. Now we are literally going to just lift the cable up until this thigh is straight like your back and then back down. Something else I like to do as well is always pause at the top for like a second. Ooh, that bad. <laughs> so whenever 
Whenever I'm doing donkey kicks or kickbacks, I like to superset it by doing the same exercise but without any weight. So I've just performed 10 reps on each leg of that. So now I'm simply going to without any weight. Feels like you have weight on you if you do it right after. All right, so next up, we're going to do Bulgarian split squats. Now I had such a love-hate relationship with these. I love them because they're brilliant. I hate them because, yeah, they burn. <laughs> but um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, guys, okay? So if you think of the uh, Romanian deadlift, you know, like this. So you can really fit in your glutes when you're doing that, right? So instead of doing the Bulgarian split squat upright, we're actually gonna lean slightly forwards just to feel the engagement in the glutes because this exercise is definitely quite core dominant. So yeah, this is what we're actually trying to aim and reach. Another thing I want you to consider is that the higher the bench or the box, the harder this exercise is going to be. All right. Okay, so the normal would be like this. We're gonna lean slightly forward into it, like this. I want you to try it, and let me know if you feel it more in your glutes. is you still want to keep your back nice and straight. You don't want to be arching it or causing any injuries there. <laughs> so some of you might notice that my foot position when performing this is actually uh, like this. But I see a lot of people that actually do it like this. Now, I need to check whether it actually makes a difference. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's just personal preference. I find it way more comfortable to have my toes arched like this. And hey, still here in the right areas. So by now, I am really feeling it in my glutes, like they are burning. So I'm gonna do a body weight exercise, the prone glute lift. Now, cause I already feel like I've got a really nice pump going on, this is literally just going to, you know, let's say it's like coffee for it, you know, it's giving it an extra boost. Now, if you do wanna add some extra resistance, you can perform this exercise with a dumbbell in between your feet or a stability ball as well. Uh, yeah, just for extra oomph. So when you're performing this exercise, you wanna feel it only in your abs and glutes. There should be no tension in your lower back whatsoever. All right, and keep my feet position as well. This should be a really controlled exercise, like throughout, you want to maintain that contraction in the glutes as well. So another alternative as well to do this is to do kickbacks on it. So the benefits of laying on a bench is just simply you aren't doing anything to your back and you're literally just isolating the glutes. So let me show you this one as well real quick. Okay guys, so now we are doing the glute pull through. So when you're doing this exercise, you wanna make sure you keep your arms straight. Now, the whole motion of the movement, you want to drive it through your hips and not your shoulders or arms. 
It's super tempting to do. So, once you reach the start position, like so, this is when you really want to flex your glutes. Yes, you should be feeling good by now. But if you guys still have a little bit of energy left and you really want to burn out your glutes, I 100% recommend doing a finisher. So my favorite finishers are frog pumps or doing the kneeling squat. So I really hope you guys took something away from today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. There's also links below for Gymshark apparel, including these uh, amazing leggings. Like, I'll keep you updated on the release date. And you'll also find my training programs below as well. All right, till next time. Mwah.